Hi. So what we have here then is our graph which has equation y equals x all divided by 1 plus root x. And we're looking at the region r which is between x equals 1, x equals 4, the curve and the x-axis. And what we've got to do is use this substitution u equals 1 plus root x to find by integrating the exact area of r. So if you'd like to uh, give this a go, just pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. Let's just see how you might have got on. Well, first of all, let's just put an intro here that the area is equal to the integral of y, y being x divided by 1 plus root x. Okay, let's put that root x in there. Integrated with respect to x, with the limits going between x equals 1 to x equals 4. Now we've got to use the substitution here, u equals 1 plus root x. So what I'll do then is we'll just border this off. Let's just uh, have a working out column here for the substitution. And that substitution then is to let u equal 1 plus root x. So if u equals 1 plus root x, what I need to do is find out what du by dx is. So therefore du by dx is equal to differentiating 1 with respect to x at 0. This is x to the power half, so if we differentiate that we're going to get half x to the power minus a half. And uh, if we tidy this up, this is the same as 1 over 2x to the power half. Okay, now we make dx the subject, and if we rearrange this, we therefore have dx equals 2x to the power half du. And we should now be able to start putting in some of these values into our integral here. So let's just put equals down here. We also need to change these limits. These are limits that are relative to x. We need to find out what the corresponding u values would be. So we do that by just saying that when x equals 1, what does u equal? Well we substitute this into here, x is 1, so you get the square root of 1 which is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. And when x is the other limit, 4, if we substitute x equals 4 into here, we've got 1 plus the square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, so u equals 3. So there's our new limits, 2 to 3, okay? So we've got u going from 2 to 3. We also can see that 1 plus root x, 1 plus root x is u, so we could substitute for that. I'm just going to draw that line there. That's going to be u. We can replace the dx with 2x to the half du, 2x to the power half du. But what about this x here? Now I'm just going to leave that x alone for the moment. We'll just put that in there. But if I tidy this up now, I can see that what I've got is that this is 2. We'll put the 2 out the front. 2 times the integral going from 2 to 3 of x to the power 1 and a half, or 3 over 2. x to the power 3 over 2. And that's divided by u, and we're trying to integrate this with respect to u. So I've still got this x in here. And what is x to the power 3 over 2? Well, from up here, I can rearrange this. I can see that root x, okay, would be equal to u minus 1. But x to the power 3 over 2 is root x all cubed. So therefore, root x all cubed, okay, or x to the power 3 over 2, would just be 
u minus 1 all cubed okay so I can pop that in in here so what we have then is that this is equal to 2 times the integral going from 2 to 3 of u minus 1 all cubed over u and that's integrated with respect to u okay so we need to uh, develop this further so let's just come down here okay border that off we need to expand u minus 1 all cubed well let's just put down that we're still working out the area so we'll just put here area equals so we've got 2 times the integral this looks like quite a long integral that we're going to have here go from 2 to 3 then of u minus 1 all cubed now u minus 1 all cubed is u cubed minus 3u squared all I'm doing is just using the binomial expansion it's a well-known expansion anyway so you should be familiar with this 3u minus 1 and then that's all divided by u and we're integrating this with respect to u so let us now take this further by dividing each one of these four terms with the u so we've got two times the integral then again going from two to three so you've got u cubed divided by u which is u squared minus three u squared divided by u which is minus three u and three u divided by u which is plus three there and then for this one minus one over u u to the minus one but i'm going to keep that as minus one over u though all right we're integrating all of this so we need that in brackets and we're integrating it with respect to u so in the usual way just these are nice simple terms to integrate so we've got two times and the first one is going to be u cubed over three next one is minus three u squared over two next one is going to be three u and for minus 1 over u, that's going to be minus the natural log of u. And we have our limits between 2 and 3. So if we substitute now 3 through, first of all, we're going to have, well, 3 cubed, 27 divided by 3, that's going to be 9. And then we've got minus 3 times 3 squared, that's going to be 27 over two and then we've got plus three times three which is nine and then minus the natural log of three okay so we've got that and from this we need to subtract I haven't got much room so we'll just come down here subtract we'll put the two through we've got two cubed which is eight eight over three eight thirds and here we've got minus 3 times 2 squared, that's 12, divided by 2, so it's going to be minus 6. And we've got 3 times 2, which is 6, and minus the natural log of 2. Okay, so close that bracket off there. So when we tidy this up, we're going to have 9 plus 9, that's 18, minus 27 over 2, uh, minus 8 thirds and uh, we're going to double our result yeah if you work that out it comes to 11 thirds okay 11 thirds and then you've got plus two times the natural log of two that's plus natural log of two minus the natural log of three so that's going to be plus two times the natural log of two thirds okay remember the when you subtract logs it's the same as division so that's plus the natural log of 2 minus natural log of 3 so that's the natural log of 2 thirds and then we're timesing all of that by 2 so there you go there's your answer so I hope you've been able to follow my workings